Hey, you are live with Curtis from the church newspaper, War Robots. We're going to jump into one of these random matches, see where they, they place us. Uh, I have a fairly low-level hanger, um, just kind of building it up at this point. Uh, all my weapons are five and, or six and below. These two pinatas on this guy's seven. Uh, use him for pretty much my beacon getter, then surprise people with a little bit of punch that he has. Uh, I think uh, I think getting the beacons is important and that uh, should not be neglected. It's, it's baffling to me how people, especially down here on this lower end, don't understand that beacons are a must to win this game. Uh, not, not like in deathmatch where it's just go and kill and be killed and have grand times that way, but here, Beaker Rush nomination, you you have to get beacons. I don't <clears throat> I don't think you need to go and get a five cap or anything like that. But it uh I think it's important to try to stay ahead on the beacons. This this poor little stalker thought he was not gonna be able to get shot by me. Uh eh, change that on him. Being the same height as the stalker. It uh I was able to do some solid damage into him, and this this is this is what I'm talking about. They just kind of wander on off and go to the completely other side of the map. And uh, something you see a lot of down here are those campers that just sit and believe that they're going to hit people with within certain yardage meters doesn't work too well uh, I do enjoy a bunch of punishers rains down a lot of fire uh, in a relatively short amount of time and constant constant pressure and if you have enough and you're close enough you're able to put some serious damage on people and you see I pretty much did all the damage to that guy with just these punishers and the shoots I don't have any health so I can't really do much to them but the shoots I would have taken care of pretty quick and I probably should just let them kill my camper but I'm not that kind of player you gotta help your teammates out and he is still doing a little bit of damage over there I know they're gonna end up coming to get him pretty soon here. Just kind of peep around the corner, shoot that griffin, unload the orkins. He's going to come on up. I wonder what this guy is. Oh, Leo. I think my, my target's going to have to be this griffin. A little corner shooting. I'm just, I'm just going to let him go ahead and As you can see, I've done a lot of damage to this griffin uh, just by ducking and dodging. And that's that's how I have to play my game. That Leo's back there just pummeling me. See if I can just kind of get over to the corner, do a little little more damage to those guys. We're over on the complete opposite side of the map. Let's see if we can just ease under here and grab this beacon real quick. Uh, here I got a twin Punishers. Uh, on the griffin I just walked right out of there didn't even pay attention to what I was doing uh, I was, you know we got the range with the punishers and the pins so I always like to try and stay back a little bit if I can Doing some pretty solid damage. We got them kind of running. Now it's the time to push. Push up. We have got to get this beacon, or else it's not going to be good. Nah, we're not going to win this game if this beacon doesn't get taken. And furthermore, overextended. 
hopefully we can get them to draw out let the rest of my guys take care of them all right eat them up eat them up oh I got the kill on that there's only three of them left oh wow why did I jump go ahead and just go right on over here see if we can pick up a five cap I'll, I'll do nothing but be cannon fodder and die pretty quickly but I can still do pretty good damage that's why it's nice having the longer range weapons you can still do damage from far away there's the other guy I'm gonna wait for this one to come on out just stay back here and chip into him. Go ahead. I always like to, if I'm close and I know I'll be all right if I give it a second to reload, just go ahead and burn the rest of the clip out. And he's just going to sit back there and wait. And I'm just going to sit back here and wait. Push forward a little bit. It seems like we got in the bag. The rest of the crew's coming up. And he is not doing anything. So if I can get up. Well, there we go. There's the game. There's the game. Uh, he would have hoped he would have jumped on out of there. But we'll kind of see where we lay, land in the uh, rankings. Uh, I feel like it did pretty decent damage. Hey, 500. Oh, and we got the most beacons. Uh, that's uh, always always nice. A little gold bonus. We'll kind of show you what at least the top two on the other side have. You see where I'm I'm playing the 22, 23. You know, they're all level five weapons, give or take. We'll kind of let's see who else is here. What is Randy? Randy's level 20. He's only got three, but again, he's all level five. Uh, it seems like he's really young with it. He's got a set of aphids on the, the steer there. So I uh, appreciate you being with us, and uh, hopefully we'll catch you back next time.